and welcome to another series. Today, we are going to solve another one hop machine called Kyoptrix Level 2. I prepared this machine for you here. Yes, this is Kyoptrix Level 2. As you can see here, this is a download link and you can see the description here. And all the things we need is just here. I've already downloaded the machine and set the environment ready. So all we need to do is to go straight through solving this machine. So this is my connection to Kali Linux. I just closed these windows and I've already built the directory for Kyoptrix level two. Uh, as you know, uh, innovation, I uh, should be done here. So I just use ARP scan, tag L and ARP scan will quickly find the IP address of this machine. This is 192.168.1.6. 106. So uh, all we need to do is just using in map scan, tag SB, tag SC, and the IP address. I just put it here, and uh, we need to scan all the ports and save the output just here on full scan. Let the in map scan uh, actually finish the results and show us the output. As you know, all these machines are vulnerable. We should find somehow to uh, uh, find a way to boot to the system and make ourselves root account doing privilege escalation. And this is it. Yes, we have the output here. As you can see, port 22 for SSH is open, open SSH 3.9 and also port 80 for http fhe port 111 for rpc bind 443 for tcp on ssl another uh, port is uh, 612 631 ipp status and 3306 for mysql so there's quite quite a lot of port here so let's clear the screen and Let's see the full scan again. We can start our work by going and visiting the port 80. So this is the first step we are going to do. I just open Firefox, navigate to 192.168.1106. So, yes, this is uh, what we have here. Remote system administrator login, username, password, let's see, page source, start of HTML when logged in as administrator. There is comment here. Let's just try admin, admin. Nothing happens. Just uh, actually insert double code, tag code, simple skill type injection payloads or one equal one tag tag yes we just entered the admin panel so th this was the payload i used uh, i think that it was a simple SQL injection lagging welcome to the basic administrative web console ping the machine on the network i don't see anything for pinging actually we see that HTML is somehow action to ping. I don't see the network here. No problem. The method is post and we need to send our request to ping it.php, uh, but we don't see the actual form here because the HTML is somehow broken we can fix it or we can use curl for here we can do it by using curl all we need to do is to send our request with a method post to this page i just do it here and you can see that's what we are going to do i just use curl tag post for posting our data to http 192.168.1.106 slash pingit.php 
and our data should be exactly the name should be IP and the submit should be the value of submit IP is our IP I just use it I say the IP is equal to for example 127.0.0.1 and the value submit equals to submit I just use submit and the value submit send our curl command post to ping it dot php I just use enter and see yes that's it we just pinged our uh, loopback interface actually the victim loopback interface and this is quite obvious that this is uh, using uh, a native OS command here which is uh, we, we can see it from the output that it uh, returns the raw data or reply of the ping command on the hours so uh, I just put a simple command injection here for example ID let's see what we got here yes as you can see here we just did it we could execute the ID command here and it returned Apache so we have command injection here uh, what we can do here is to actually send a reverse shell to our machine. Let's find our IP address here um, on this machine. If we use config, we see that our IP address is 1.105. So we need to start a listener here. Just make it a little bit wider. And see tag in VLP. 4444 yes this is what we are going to do this is our listener and we just to send our kill command actually with a reverse shell to get it on this pane here uh, for doing this I use a simple reverse shell here I have this plugin here our IP address is 105 just the first one I copy it I know that I should uh, somehow use URL encoded. I use, just use CyberChef for do, doing this. Pasting my command here using URL encode and just copy it from there. And now we are good and ready for doing this. I just use curl our previous command substituting ID with our reverse shell which is URL encoded and this should work let me see what happened here there might be an illegal character here yes this is the end actually is preventing us let's do something like this URL encode all special characters copy it again and yes let's try again just put my well encoded reverse shell here and I think this time it worked yes we just have the uh, shell here and we can do our work from there just zoom in on this pane as we are on this machine we can um, enumerate a few vectors for having any possibilities for privilege escalation or RV this is our commands here I just stabilize my shell here we divide that spawn slash ping bash and just this yes export term equals x term just send it to background s to dy tag a to see our current cd by rows and columns s to dy raw tag echo FG here and STTY row 
was just setting my terminal actually with these columns here and rows from seven three and we are good to go we are here and can enumerate few aspects let's see what kernel we are 2.6.9 and don't have it here just ruin my terminal do it again you want to tag a this is kernel 2.6.9 and red hat tag release we can see that we are on CentOS release 4.5 and I think uh, we can enumerate this a little bit more doing just something like this search exploit kernel 2.6 2.6 actually yes that is better zoom it here Let's see the output once more. Kernel 2.6. Let's see what we can find here. We just saw that this is 2.6.9 and CentOS 4.5. I'm just here see if I can find any exploit for that to that point there are a lot of exploits here let's just filter a little bit of it actually we can use grab dash i escalation and let's see what happens here we are looking for privileged escalations so let's grab it out there are a lot of exploits again you can narrow it down as you can see here there's a centos 4.5 4.5 so let's we can actually use it group dash i centos to see if we can find uh, sorry, sent OS. Dash. I sent OS. Yes, this is a little better. So this is 4.5 here and we have, I think what we need is just this. Yes, we can use your exploit, tag him, and download this exploit from here. We have it here, and we just we need to upload it on the victim. Just use http.server or 80, and actually, let's see it and do it again for here cd slash temp we are here and we can just use delegate to download the exploit from here that 105 95 42 that c and just we get it i zoom on this pan and we have it here Actually, we have GCC, yes, GCC doing this here. Let's see what happens. We have the file a.out, and I think we are good to go. a.out, and yes, we are root. So this exploit worked here for having this actually very old kernel just found it from here just you can just use grip and uh, some filtering for 
having a better eye for finding exploits and this one 95 42 just worked for us let's see if we can find anything on root uh, no proof or flag or something we just uh, actually root this box with finding a public exploit for a very old kernel I hope you liked it I hope you learned a little bit from it and just we can see we should search and test every aspect of uh, finding for finding any vulnerability to exploit for getting root on the machines well which is like this so I see you later Oh, oh, oh.